going on? Chilling, chilling. Yeah, yeah. Cool. The Bengalinis. Yeah, good, Jess. Hey, I'm good, man. Groovy. Like okay. a driving movie. What's <laughs> Paula? Tito. What's up, man? What's good, man? Everything cool, bro. Happy to be here, man. Supporting the wave and all of that. Yeah. No chill zone. Exactly. No chill zone with that. Facts. So, um, how you got that name, bro? Tito Pingolinis. Pingolinis. What, what's the meaning behind that name? Sure. Uh, I got that name from my cousin, right? My cousin, John John. He just happened to say that one time, and mm -hmm. tell us to John John. Yeah, you know, I took it and ran with it because it sounded catchy, and I knew from that day, I was just like, and I didn't even, I didn't even think that he knew he was doing that because he just, you know, regularly said it, and I'm like, yo, people need me. It's like, that sounds <laughs> catchy, like, right? That sounds catchy. That's what it's catchy, though. Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't know. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, what do you think about this pornos going on? Yo, the pornos is crazy, It's a lot of even porno stars oh, out there right the now. <laughs> it's like, I get them without even asking for them. Like, they just appear on my phone, like, yo, how I got this? That's oh, like, man. That's so different. Oh, oh. What do you think girls do in that nowadays, bro? Especially like, even the girls. You know, like, you know what's the thing? I feel like, I feel like once you, like, involve with a person and y'all have that intimacy, whenever a dude pull out his phone, I don't think the women is thinking that the nigga is going to expose him because... At that moment, she yeah. think, oh, this nigga loves me and this and that or whatever. Yeah, but as a female, why would you put yourself in that position to get recorded? And it be that intimacy, bro. Say, yeah, men yeah, yeah. the yeah. They, they in the moment, bro. So it's like if they just go, they, if they, they get intense, and it, it be the intimacy. They forget, they forget about you know the the uh, tomorrow and you know what if they break up? What was to happen? They just and get then once you demolish it, like once you once then they get it down the right way. Yeah. And you tell them no, they're going to know the way I should leave. They believe you. They believe you got any business out there? I mean, I got mine joint. I got, I got mine joint stored. Yeah, mine's just personal. Mine's personal. just definitely well, personal well, well. for my own needs. Yeah, I got a few. Yeah, I got a few. few. Okay. I got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> chill. But, uh, you know, right, so, I, I feel like right, this All the videos out there, which one had you like, oh, oh, damn, okay. So you can get it. Storks. I ain't gonna hold you, boy. The last one, the last the joint with the yeah, with the with the uh, with the it was some dark skin nice one. Not with the storage, right? Nah, with the no, not the, with the storage. storage. Nah, the one with the with the with the picture, the one that's on the picture too. Those that those that got it know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Like she come with a picture. That's the video. <laughs> she come with a picture. If y'all ain't knowing that, man, get in your like get on get on get on. Uh, yeah, what's happening all that? Like, what do you think? To me, one of my which one of the which call it one of the ones that caught my attention was the shit that mommy looked at. Cause first of all, he oh, and two he was the great he's the great two bitches. That's the mommy that looked at. It was good. He cool. got the like, phone and he sucking oh, and he sucking the TV on the shelf. Oh, yeah, like, like, just suck that pussy, man. Suck that pussy, man. Oh man, but nah, like, oh, shit, that's not crazy. to really you know make it all jokes and stuff. I feel like you ladies. You know, some of you ladies should kind of, you know, know what y'all getting yourself in, involved in before y'all do it and shit, you know? Because, you know, social media plays a big part, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know who you're going to end up I mean, with. I hear the girls on Facebook that be like, oh, she a hoe, she, she a thigh hoe. It's not. Probably all types of men, but they be doing the same. Absolutely. Same thing. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, that's a whole fuck fine. Fuck so, um, how come you use a lot of profanity in your music? The reason why I use a lot of profanity in my music is because, like, you know, got from that people, whenever you talk about something positive, it's kind of like what's going on on Facebook now. When you promote something positive, they don't, they don't, what you call it, they don't, like, like you know, respond. But the moment you sit there and you say, a mí me vale verga lo que dice la gente de mí. It's like on some like, oh, they're listening now. Or whatever. So that's one of the oh, things. Like, you know, it's, just, it's just to get the people's attention. It's not because that's in my heart and that's what I want to do. It's just like, you know, just like talking to a female. Like, if she dubbing your shit, once you say, bitch, you know, she going to look or whatever. That's so fun. It's those same tactics or whatever. So what was the whole concept behind, like, a la mierda and the whole bashing of our and shit? All right. There was a time, like around March last year, and they did like a tribute show to Aurelio and stuff like that or whatever. So at that time, right, I thought 
that there was a whole bunch of artists that deserved that before him. But yeah. mm-hmm. at yeah. that time, I didn't understand certain things. And then at the end of the day, and really, we're not really in charge of what people choose to um, do with their money. So it's now that I think this way. If niggas wanted to do something for our radio, by all means, it's cool. But at that time, I was in my bag, like, on some, nah, what about Jimmy Swasso? What about, you know, a lot of people that's not even still alive mm-hmm. or whatever. So okay. that grew from that. <clears throat> Would I do that again nowadays? No, because you know I understand a lot more now and stuff like that or whatever. But it was funny though. That was everybody, funny everybody's jeans. on the what the chip oh, wave. Girl. Everybody's like, I feel like the chip. What the I chip? Know, yeah, yo, yo, let's document this right now. I feel like my son Dre, Jovi, mm-hmm. and Tito started that what the shit shit. Yeah, shout out to Jovi. Three summers ago, he was jacking that shit. Tito, mm-hmm. so how's your style different in profiling it from from our little style? Some people say it's like kind of similar. Mm-hmm. Like, not I mean, music, but profanity wise. I ask profanity wise. I just, yeah. I just feel like, um, what's the difference between us? Garifuna outlaws, like, I mean, Garifuna outlaws, they do that more in Garifuna, and I do it more in like Spanish. Mm. Or so it's kind of like being in the same lane, or whatever. But it's why just, is that? Why, why are you doing in Spanish? The reason why I do it in Spanish is because I speak it fluently, okay. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's easier for me to express myself in Spanish. Mm. Instead of asking my mom, oh my, how you say this in Garifu now? How you say this in Garifu now? Like, it's not going to be the same with something that I learned practicing it to record it. So Spanish, I could come up with my own shit and then spit it or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, so I feel like that's the only difference. And another thing, um, we both into hip-hop or whatever and stuff yeah. like that. You like, like, you know, I'm a big Eminem fan or whatever. So I feel like I kind of like follow like what he does mm-hmm. or whatever. So, and I always say this too, I feel like I'm more understandable than outlaws, because Jesse got some tongue twister shit, and sometimes you gotta be like, yo, you what this nigga saying? You fought it, y'all? Nah, man. Mm-hmm. I'm just, you know, like, just oh, trying to bring some wittiness and spice into this, you know, uh, thing we call, you know, punta music. Mm-hmm. You know, just have people think, you know, like, think fast, you know, just get their mind going. Uh, so, you know, you know, you know how much people don't know that you said, do you already, do you already, do you already know your name? You talk about that one more time. You know how many people don't know that's what you're saying? Know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> I got that a couple of times too and shit, but, oh, you know. I should, um, I should provide it and got you in trouble, like, the BS or shit like that. Um, I nah. Did, I did, like, right up in the street, like, hey, people. Nah, they probably pulled up on you, know. you and Ferry and Katona, like, yo, why you saying this? I'm going to start to... Oh, you can tell? I mean, a couple of, a couple of older people did that or whatever, but the thing is, I get, I get support from both of my parents. That's what's up. So once my parents support me in what I do, it's like whatever Theo or Theo I got to say, yeah. it don't even matter. Got nothing to do yeah. or whatever. All yeah, that shit like yeah. Same way with me though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get that like, a lot, a whole, a whole lot of flack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But as long as the family support it and they laugh and they take it as jokes, I feel like no one can tell me different mm-hmm. for me. Exactly. So what do you think DJs and um, tambores are overlapping with the live bands and stuff? The reason why I think that it's happening is because they probably using the right tactics that they have to use for it because nobody's just going to support anything just to support it. So it must be something good that the DJs and the tambores is doing that's yeah. making the people say, yo, way I ate para ya, whatever. And then another thing too, I feel like there's a time, there's a time and place for everybody. So if right now is the time for the tambores and the DJs to get their shine, and I feel like we have the time to perfect our shit, so whenever we can yeah, come back yeah, out, come back out stronger than ever. Awesome. Real shit. strong shit. Yeah, yeah makes man. sense. Well, that's it for me. What so you think so. about the whole little boy party? The little boy party. party. Damn, James, it's a whole like. Damn, damn, damn. That's that's I mean, that's the little boy party. I mean, I mean, the little boy party is cool because I know it's probably like you know, I know the people that say to themselves, "Hey, Bamu has said that's what." I know they're probably doing it with a good intention or whatever, like, you know, because we don't know what their relationship to Little Boy is, and everybody is going to have their own opinion on something or whatever. So, I mean, I hope it goes good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hope it goes good. Okay. And the upcoming projects? Oh, what yeah. Got, what you got going on? February, right, on Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. I'm dropping my third album, and it's called I'm Just Playing Ladies, You Know I Love You. <laughs> what kind of shit is that, bro? Like That's clever, right. though. On that album, I'm basically going to be talking about my different experiences that I have with like, different women okay. from the age that I started getting intimate 
Okay. Till like maybe till like 2012 or whatever. Okay. You know, because I don't want to give out too much. <laughs> people, you know, you got a timeline. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest regret that you had from the last serious relationship? The serious regret that I had from my last serious relationship? Yeah. Or the, the biggest regret? The biggest regret. I got to chill and watch. Watch this. Biggest regret that I have. You <laughs> <laughs> can't even can't put a watch. Yo, stress. I was, I was, I was so stressed. I, was, I, was, I mean, sneaky. I, I was, you know, I wasn't. Damn, I don't even know how to answer that. That shit was just. Cut, on the cut. Spot. <laughs>